What's going on guys? In this video, <laughs> I picked up some bootlegs, some bootleg toys of uh, horror characters. I found these on eBay. Uh, I was kind of going through and looking at some other stuff and uh, I couldn't resist it. I think even like the title of it said uh, horror toy bootlegs. So I'm like, why not? Why not? I've reviewed other ridiculous things on this channel. Let's have a look at some bootlegs. I think these are from Mexico. I may or may not be right by that, but uh, I don't remember how much I paid for them. I was really not even expecting them to come in a, in a bag like this. Came also with some posters too. Uh, I have not opened these up, so I'm not really even sure the condition of these yet. So we're gonna do this on camera, <laughs> and you guys, you guys can share the enjoyment of me looking at these. So came with a whole bunch of these cards. Um, I guess they're just poster cards. It uh, looks like they've just been printed on cardboard, so we've got Stephen King's It. Stephen King's It. Uh, what else do we have here? Child's Play. That's a neat-looking poster. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Uh, what else do we have here? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Some really neat posters. I don't think I've ever seen this one, too. It reminds me of Eon Flux, this one. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street, and Saw. So little poster things. I guess I could do something with these. Maybe put them in frames or something. Hmm, hmm, ideas, ideas. We're gonna put those right there. I also got this. I've seen this before. I think at one point I probably even had this as a banner on my Facebook page. Different horror characters. Kind of cool, I like that. Yeah. And then, of course, we get to the meat and the potato of it all, the bootleg toys. Looks like we get uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly six bootlegs. And we are going to open these. I don't even know the conditioning of these toys. They could be, you know, <laughs> I'm sure that the quality of them are not fantastic. But why not? Why not? We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun picking up some weird things on eBay. Some of the weird things on eBay. So, for starters, uh, okay, so for starters, we got Pennywise the Clown. I can't even describe it. It feels like it's made out of an eraser. The paint is abysmal. I don't even know what's happened here. Like, there's just stuff all over him. Just, I guess, I, I don't know. I guess somebody has painted this. He does have posability. Head rotates, arms rotate. Probably gonna have to make sure I thoroughly wash my hands after after having a look at these. I guess he's supposed to be able to hold his balloon. I mean, he's got a gripping hand here, but they've sealed over his hand. So the not quite red balloon normally would be able to fit in his hand like this, but obviously you can't can't fit it in there. I'm gonna I would probably if I wanted to invest a lot of time into these toys, I probably would not. Uh, I take a little knife, just kind of, or a screwdriver, kind of work that hole open, and then I could fit the balloon in. Uh, I don't know what's happened to his feet. It looks like they've melted off. But the uh, best way I could describe it, it it feels like it's rubber for starters, starters, and it kind of feels like it's made out of like, uh, you know, like an eraser. Pennywise the clown, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know if he's gonna stand up. Okay, we'll just we'll just put him over there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We got Leatherface. Ooh. Leatherface is saturated in blood. That would be an understatement. He's got blood everywhere. He comes with his chainsaw, but, I mean, much like Pennywise, you can't really do anything with the chainsaw. It just ends up sitting loose. It's again, soft. Kind of soft rubber. Here's what it looks like there. A little bit of blood on it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well spent money. Well, well spent money. Comes with also a little cleaver in his hand. Uh, he does have posability again. Arms. Arms. Nothing in the legs. His face is uh, somewhat resembling Leatherface. Of course, just covered in this bright... It looks like he's been eating like a strawberry pie. It's just all over him. Look what you've done to yourself, Leatherface. you got strawberry pie filling all over you. Okay, we'll put him there. 
Does he stand? Oh, he stands. All right. We're making progress here. I wanted to look at this one next. This is Chucky. He apparently comes with two heads. Comes with a normal... Ooh. <laughs> normal is probably not the best word to describe it, but he comes with a somewhat normal head, and he comes with his more scarred head. I would question a little bit. I'd question a little bit who's painting these. Apparently, the person who painted Chucky felt like he looked like Mario. He just ended up giving him Mario colors. Again, he's got arm articulation, head articulation, and supposedly, I'm guessing you're supposed to be able to change the head out. Let's see if I can do this. Let go, let go. No, it doesn't seem to want to come off. It's it's really stuck in there. No, it's a... I don't know if I'm going to be able to change that out. But supposedly he would have come with an alternate head. I guess you... You know, there you go. That's what he would look like with the alternate head. Comes with a little knife. Soft, rubbery knife. Not one of the better ones. <laughs> I mean, where, where do we start setting the bar here? Like, I don't think... I think the bar is pretty, pretty low on these so far. Oh, let's not also forget Leatherface came with also an apron. Let's see if I can see if this fixes everything. Ah, I see much better. That's that's much better than it was before. No, it's not. Put him right over there. Okay. Next we've got does he come with his hat? There he is. Comes with Ooh. I, I know I'm my reaction is about the same for all of these. It it's they Whatever sculpt that these may have potentially had, it looks like have have been handed to a six-year-old child and just said, here, yeah, just paint this. What colors do I paint him? Says the adult-voiced child. Ah, whatever, just, you know, whatever, whatever colors we have available. Blacks, apparently black and red are the colors that they had to work with for Freddy. He kind of looks like Darkman by the, the way his lower half, his lower of face half, is all burned and blackened. Looks a little bit like dark. Oh, what's going on in the back here? Comes with his fedora. I don't know if he's going to be able to actually wear it. Kind of looks like a more of a forest ranger's hat. What's that? What's that ranger? R ranger from... What's that? Boo Boo. Oh, I can't remember that bear. He's smarter than the average bear. It kind of looks like the ranger from that. Yogi Bear, thank you, Yogi Bear. Um, okay, so at least the glove's been painted in. Although the rest of it looks like he's got like... Uh, I, I don't really know. I It looks more like a winter glove, and then the fingertips have been painted silver. His hand, apparently, this eight-year-old child also felt that Freddy's hand needed to also be red. Well, just why not? We'll just cover the whole thing in red. Blood all over his legs. I feel like I will probably want to wash my hands after all this. Uh, arm articulation, head articulation, nothing in the waist, it's still kind of a rubbery plastic. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oh, okay, so this one's not so bad. Got Jigsaw. This one, I think, of the the selection that we've looked at so far, is one of the more passable. I, I'd be If this was painted a little bit better, I, I, I'd be decently happy with how this was at least sculpted. Paint, maybe not so much, but at least the sculpt, I would be, I would walk away pretty happy. Doesn't come with his trike, tricycle, head articulation, nothing in the arms, nothing in the legs. There's a little Billy, Billy the puppet from Jigsaw. All right. I left this one for the last, oh, sorry. I didn't want to make it look like I'm just throwing these around. I left what I thought could be the best one for the last. Here we have Jason Voorhees. Well, I mean, he's got color. He's got at least a green shirt. His face looks like it's been chewed up by a dog. Red. Oh, yeah, we got the red there. Um, I don't know if he was supposed to have hair, but I guess whoever painted it decided he should have gray hair. Or maybe that's just his head. It does look more like hair than anything else. It's got some little gash lines. Wonder. I, I would love to know the story of these. Who who sculpted these? Who you know? They just. How did they make these? I'm I'm so curious. His hand, by the way. 
Let's just see if he's got a machete. No, he doesn't have a machete. Okay. No, no machete. He does have an open hand, though, so... We're kind of defeating the rules of the horror films. I mean, Leatherface should have the chainsaw, but... Hey, why not? Everything else is kind of going... <laughs> just going anyway, so like... Ah, let's just give him the chainsaw. There's Jason with the chainsaw. Blood all over his legs. These are ridiculous. These are ridiculous. Some I get I, I tell you again, some of the stuff that you find on eBay just blows your mind. Head articulation, arm as well, and nothing in the waist. There's Jason Voorhees. I, 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 head sculpt is again minus the fact that it looks like it was chewed up by a dog. Don't by the way give these to a dog. I can't imagine the materials being all that safe for any consumption. Don't give it also to a little small baby. Don't let the baby gnaw away at Jason. Jason, I think, is the most passable of, of all of them. Uh, that and probably, yeah, these two are probably the better of the lot. The worst one, maybe Chucky. Excessively uh, bloodied, maybe, is the one thing that is the deal breaker on these toys. <laughs> yeah, like you needed a deal breaking reason not to pick up these toys. Eh, you know what? We have fun. We have fun. There you go, guys. Found these again on eBay. I don't even I don't even remember what I paid for them. I mean, anything more than 50 cents, I'm sure anybody would say, well, you, you, you spent too much on these. But we had a little bit of fun. I mean, bootleg horror figure toys, they exist. They're out there. You can find them on eBay. Again, I think these were from Mexico. Today, this weird little concoction of a video, we're having a look at some bootleg horror toys. Uh, certainly, uh, if you guys like videos like this, hit it with a like down below. Let me know down in the comments section what you think of these. I'm sure you could probably find a set for yourself on eBay. That's where I went. I don't even know what I typed in. I probably just typed in horror figures, and ultimately this popped up. I thought, why not? Apparently, I have money just to throw around on garbage, but decided to pick them up and uh, we have some fun. Have some more fun hopefully from you guys than than I, than I had also if you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below make sure you do so of course we're going to do more horror figure and collectible reviews coming your way maybe not maybe a little bit of a higher quality than these uh, again thanks for watching as you always do guys <laughs> I'll see you next time oh these are crap <laughs>